Hello friends and welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick short review on a new radio I got which is called the Rouage UV58 Plus. Don't be surprised if you see this particular radio under names like iRadio or Radtel. It is also the Radtel RT-890. It's the iRadio UV-5118 Plus and I'm sure it's available as uh, several other brands as well. Um, this is a 5 watt radio which I saw very few reviews on online but then I decided I was going to take a chance on it and for under forty dollars I went ahead and ordered it. Boy am I glad I did. But this has now become my uh, carry radio hence you see the antenna on there is not the stock antenna because uh, I'll go into that a little bit later. This is a six band radio. Yeah, six band. So I've actually labeled mine all in one because it does all in one. It is air frequency, it does receive aircraft, uh, AM band of course. Now I do live close to an airport so I do get a lot of that traffic. Uh, not all of it is clear. It depends on where I'm at and it depends if I'm using an external antenna or if I'm using a, a smaller, shorter antenna. But it also does uh, all the other frequencies. It does come unlocked from um, AliExpress, so there's no restriction on it. It does have an alphanumeric keypad, which seems to be the trend now. I did try to enter characters into memory by hand, but Again, I did not succeed. I can pretty much do everything else, but I cannot. Uh, I'm, I'm unable to enter uh, a name tag into my memory positions. The reason I say that is because uh, although this radio does come with 999 memories, yes, 999 memories, you can pretty much put anything and everything you want in there, um, you cannot program it with Chirp. It is not Chirp compatible. So you pretty much have to download the software from Radtel or two or three other locations uh, on the net, obviously. And then you have to program it by hand. So you have to enter everything by hand. And yes, like some radios I've recently reviewed, um, you cannot cut and paste. So you, you have to sit there and key everything in. Uh, it does program with a standard K cable, however. And yes... There's your K-cable connection, and right underneath is a USB-C charging port. Now, as far as the size of this radio, it is about the same size as a UV-5R. It's thicker. Um, quality is pretty decent, surprisingly. It, it's nice. One of the things I don't like is, and I've encountered this on some of my other reviews, I'm sure you've seen it, is the push to talk button is a little too sensitive for my liking and so if you're not careful if you have it in your pocket or something you may be accidentally transmitting and yes if you notice when you transmit it'll actually change color to let you know you're transmitting yes this is a full color screen probably one of the best color screens I've had on a super cheap radio uh, I mean yes color screens are available on more expensive radios but this is a cheap radio uh, which works very well and it has a very nice screen with uh, capability and you can even program it and change colors so if you want to change the uh, outline color instead of yellow you can have a green blue you can actually make changes to it um, you can switch between A or B it is a dual frequency it'll watch two frequencies at the same time uh, and it is very nice in the sense that it will show you all your information so you have the memory position on the one side you actually have your name tag and then it shows you the frequency and if you're bumping to a repeater it will show you the frequency you're transmitting on obviously if you're in GMRS or ham it's going to be slightly different there's going to be an offset so it's going to show you the frequency you're transmitting on I kind of like that feature because there's no guessing I'm old and I don't want to sit and remember everything so anytime I'm looking at it I can see what's going on um, another thing this is also has is a repeater mode. So now I have not tested the repeater mode on this, but it has a talk around feature. So supposedly you should be able to program it to repeat uh, and use it as a repeater. Um, again, I have not tried that. So if anybody else has, or if you do, please add on to this or 
post below so other people can know about it. Um, one of the only things I kind of like don't care for is this has a push on belt clip which clips onto the battery. I've never really liked those. I prefer the screw on ones although I don't use them too much. And of course you get your little proverbial slot to put your carrying lanyard. Now I said the as far as the antenna is concerned this did come with a decent antenna but this is my go-to antenna. I'm going to do a separate review on this antenna and some other antennas that I have and I use and how I measure them and how I measure my radios with a VNA and uh, other tools that I use. Um, this is of course a BNC which makes it universal and I can just plug it in and remove it add it onto pretty much any of my radios. I put several adapters these are got, I think, from Amazon. They're just screw-on. You screw it on your radio permanently, and then you just get any antenna that you have that has a BNC connector. The nice thing about this antenna is, yep, you can adjust it, so you can actually adjust the frequency. And I've already got some measurements that I use, so I know exactly what frequency I'm transmitting on and get the optimum SWR out of this antenna. Um, this is a very nice radio, and this has become my everyday carry radio. Again, it's compact, it's small, it has a great screen, the audio quality is very, very good on it. Um, I hit repeaters without any problem. Um, it's an amazing radio for the price of less than $40. Uh, these are features you're not going to find on cheap radios. So. If you come across it, you can come across it again as, as a Radtel, an iRadio, a Rouaj. And if you want a cheap radio, a little more expensive than a UV5R, yes, but definitely a good radio for the money. Um, by all means, get it. So if you have any comments, please uh, put them below. Uh, I would greatly appreciate if you uh, like these little short videos, if you would subscribe to the channel. It helps the algorithm and it encourages me to make some more videos. I, I'm not endorsed by anybody, so I have to buy these radios. I buy them and I just dust them with my own money. So I don't get anything from anybody and I don't have any affiliate links. So please subscribe. Thanks for watching.